We are back at it with some more MX bikes, and I am disguised as Hayden Deegan right now, and I am trying to beat my rivals, aka Levi Kitchen, who is right next to me, and Tommy V, who is also on the gate over there somewhere. The goal is to beat both of these guys, and we're going to be talking about the upcoming season as well, so let's get to it. All right, boys, here we go. Gate's about to drop, and I'm already going to pull a whole shot on Levi right here. Ready for this? Oh my gosh, you, you almost made me jump, Loki. <laughs> I almost jumped because of that. Okay, Yamaha, not the greatest here, but it kind of worked. I'm slowing up so much. This start is kind of hectic. Okay, got a gri I don't know where to go. I, I legit don't know where to go because I was so afraid of those guys like missing the run or running into me. Okay, Jordan over there, aka Levi Kitchen. Yeah, he's all over the place, man. He's bouncing all over the place on that PC Kawasaki. Um, I don't know where Tommy V is. Okay, Tommy V is behind us. I'm gonna get your ass. Oh, everybody just went down on the outside. No! <laughs> yeah, what happened in coming to get you, man? Uh, that didn't happen. I got taken out again. Ian, <laughs> what are you doing, bro? Oh, gosh. Reese over there. You're chilling, baby. Chilling. Who is this? Bradley, man. Bradley looking like a demon with the Deegan kit on. But yeah, we want to talk about the upcoming season, man, uh, because there's a lot of good guys. That could potentially, I'm over the burn, <laughs> potentially win uh, the championship. But since I am rocking Hayden Deegan, I think Deegan's going to win the chip. Um, however, I do see Tommy V being really good. I'm not going to lie. I, I do see Tommy V winning a lot of races here um, and potentially fighting Deegan to the end on the championship. That's kind of my prediction. But you can't forget about the boy Levi you can't forget about the boy Joe like how is Joe gonna do this year first season outdoors on the Honda you know like how is he gonna do I know for one thing what you said in the team chat earlier not gonna happen Masterpool's not winning a race oh <laughs> okay. I know it's a joke but <laughs> okay yeah so there's breaking news today uh Ty Masterpool has been signed for Monster Energy Kawasaki uh pro circuit for 250 class uh for outdoor season He's going to be rocking the whole entire outdoors on PC, which everybody wanted Ty to have a factory ride, and we're getting it. You know, we are getting that. I don't know how he's going to do. I, I Like, someone tweeted out, he was like, we, we were talking back and forth on Twitter, and I was just saying, like, I can see him maybe being, like, top five one round, but, like, I really don't see it. And then a guy said, you, don't forget about Red Bud, man. He's really, really good at Red Bud. And I was like, yeah, but if he's just a fill-in rider, like, do we expect him to be at Red Bud, you know, on PC? But then it uh, turns out he actually has the ride all summer. I was like, wait, what? what? Yeah, he has a ride all summer long with PC, I guess. So, uh, yeah, if he gets to Red Bud and he's kind of on fire, he's kind of gelling with the bike, man. I, I don't see why not. He couldn't win a race. But yeah, so supposedly he has a ride all year long and... I'm kind of stoked on that because I want to see what he can do. I mean, he hasn't rode 250s in a hot minute, and he wasn't that great. Like, don't get me wrong. He wasn't that great on the 250 besides, like, one to two races, man. He's always kind of been hurt, though, I guess you would kind of say. But now he's coming in healthy. He's not really going to have some, like, practice on the 250, I guess you would say, because, like, let's be real. He got the bike yesterday, right? So I don't know how much. He's also hurt. And he's hurt? Yeah. Wait, what? He didn't start. He didn't start riding till last Friday. Oh my gosh! Yeah, I don't know how well he's gonna do then. But by the time Redbud comes, which is like round five or six, right? Something like that. Um, yeah. I I potentially see him being in the mix, man. Like top six in the mix, you know. So he has the raw speed for any battle. Um, so I expect him to be in like top six. There's also some other breaking news that we got to talk about. RJ's out. RJ is out with a wrist injury, man. He had a crash at press day. Like, crash at press day, has surgery on his wrist. And that is just a bummer, man. Because he's coming off the championship. And now that RJ's not going to be there, maybe towards the end he's going to be there. That provides opportunities like Master Pool to get into that top five a little bit easier. Uh, Joe to get a podium spot a little bit easier because let's be real RJ is a freaking demon outdoors man he will he will ride the edge outdoors because that's what he does man um but yeah I, I mean kind of sad like very very sad that he is gonna be out uh, I was hoping that he was gonna be battling with Levi Joe Deegan 
Um, I think everybody's like kind of predicting Deegan's gonna win the whole entire thing. I think that's like everybody's predictions. You think? I haven't heard anything much. But. I I think it is, bro. Like I feel like everybody. I or maybe I'm just seeing Deegan fans. Maybe I'm just seeing Deegan fans because that's all I see is like, oh, Deegan's gonna win this. Deegan's gonna do this. Deegan's gonna win everything. Like it's Deegan championship. I'm like, guys, like we're forgetting. There's a lot of fast guys. Like a lot. It's so, like, Davey, how do you think Jalik's gonna do? Like, how do you think Joey Sabachi is gonna do? You know, guys like that, like who could potentially get into the mix of top five. Why is this guy going backwards on the track and almost took me out? What the heck? I think Jalik could be a sneaky winner. Yo, I think Jalik can be one of those guys that wins a race and maybe like takes a win away from like Deegan or something like that. Like he was a demon at high point a few years ago. What about Daxton Bennett, bro? Like, is Daxton yeah, Bennett going to be a freaking sneaky. sleeper pick? He was pretty good in Supercross on occasion, you know? So, like, what's going to happen with that? I mean, um, what other star guys? You got Romano. You got Romano. Daxton Bennett. Is, uh, what's his face going to be racing outdoors? Jordan Smith. Oh, you got Jordan Smith. I forgot about Jordan Smith. Dude, imagine Jordan Smith and Deegan go at it. Bar, bar banging. There's rumors that he's going to Triumph, so... I, I kind of maybe expect towards the end of the year, maybe if he's sick and tired of Deegan, you know, uh, he might do something crazy, but. I think it should be the other way around. I think Deegan should be tired of that dude. Yeah, I don't know what what Smith was thinking on that Supercross uh, attempt for a takeout. Like, I don't know what he was thinking on that because he had no way of executing that. It was kind of weird. I think Deegan was pissed too. He's like, bro, you want to do that again? Okay, cool, bro. Uh, that's one of the clips I saw. So yeah, I mean, you got you got Jordan Smith, Romano, Deegan, Dax Bennett. Um, you also have, oh my gosh, Jordan, it's your guy. Forgot his name. Moseman? Oh, Moseman. Moseman, yeah. Is Moseman racing? Like, is that a thing? Yep, he is. He is racing? So like, like, how is he going to do? I know he's pretty decent outdoors. So, I mean, like, you have so, it's crazy how stacked the field is for 250. Because you feel like, I feel like anybody can potentially win, man. Like, anybody can win. But overall, I think this 250 class is going to be such a good, good watch all year long. Because I feel like, like I said, anybody can win a moto, dude. So anything can happen. I don't expect anybody to, like, go on a run. I don't know about you guys, but I don't expect anybody to go on a run, like, and win three Tommy or four. You think Tommy V can go on a run and win, like, three or four in a row? Oh, yeah. Dude, I think it's going to be tough. Second year outdoors. I mean, he is an MX2 champ. So, I mean, if, like, he's, he could definitely do it. But I wonder how much outdoor testing he has done because he was probably trying to win that Supercross championship. You know what I'm saying? Because there's always that little, there's always that um, few weeks where he's supposed to do outdoors, but he's doing Supercross because he has a chip to worry about, you know? So, I wonder how much practice he's had outdoors. But then again, he's an MX2 champ. Like, you expect him to do good. Honestly, it's going to be so sick to watch all summer long. It's one of my... I think Supercross is fun. I think Supercross is like fun and stuff to watch and like make reactions to because it's very, very quick. It's very... Uh, like the races are a lot shorter, right? So it's very fun to watch. And But outdoors, 30 minutes plus two. I'm pretty sure there's an hour break in between the races, dude. Um, it's going to be a long, long day for the boys. It's going to be awesome. Yeah. Um, drinking beer eating pizza actually i probably won't do any of that but <laughs> but i mean i love outdoors last year we didn't stream i was talking about this in the jet video or i guess the chase video but last year we didn't stream it like uh live stream it we did the discord and stuff i don't know if i want to live stream bro because i'm thinking about it right it's like a four hour thing i'd stream it yeah that's too i think most of the time we'll probably do it like tomorrow or when you guys are watching this we'll definitely be live because it's like at 1 p.m i think and it goes to like 4 4 30 i believe it's like three hours three and a half hours or something like that so we'll definitely go live for that and then but some of the east coast rounds i don't even know if i'm waking up enough <laughs> i don't even know if i'm waking up early enough to watch uh like quality i just crashed in the first time uh all race long no bullshit uh rip. let's go into uh predictions for paula yeah prediction for paula i'm thinking deegan for sure is gonna win this race right um and then i think i think joe is gonna get second if he can get a good start i think joe is gonna get second 
And then I'm gonna have, I wanna say Tommy V. I'm gonna have Tommy V. Tommy V set or third place for round number one. That's my top three for 250s. Don't ask me top five. I don't, that's too hard to think of, okay? That's way too hard to think of. Uh, but Davey, who do you got top three? Deegan, Tommy V, Levi. Okay, okay. Jordan, what do you got? Uh, Ty Masterpool, Michael <laughs> Bozeman, Jaleek Swole. <laughs> that ain't happening. You imagine, dude. <laughs> uh, but hey, I want to see how good Tommy, or Tommy, I want to see how good Ty does, you know? I wonder how Jaleek's going to do too. I think Jaleek and Triumph and Joey Savachi, man, like those guys are going to be flying. I think all I've seen on TikTok is Joey Savachi put it in laps, man. Like that's all I've seen. So I'm expecting him to do good. That's it, like another. I'm, I'm forgetting Tommy. Or I'm, forget, I'm forgetting Joey Savachi. Like, that's a sleeper pick. If you guys have ever seen one, that is a sleeper pick and a half. He's coming in on fire because he's been riding outdoors all year long, right? Because that's all he can do. He can't do supercross. So, I don't know. I think he could potentially get into that top five if he gets a good start. Um, dude, he's, a, he's actually a sleeper pick for like top five overall. You know what I mean? I yeah. think he's gonna be better than like the the gas gas guys in my opinion. That's my that's my thought. I think he's gonna be better than uh what's his face? Uh Ryder D, Pierce Brown. Um That's just what I think. I don't know if it's gonna actually happen. But I mean, do we think Joey's gonna be a little bit better than Jalik coming out first no. couple rounds? No, not at all. I think Jalik is better than the gas gas guys outdoors. Yeah. So I think Jalik, I, like I said, Jalik can win a race, man. He, he's proved it before. So, I mean, I wouldn't expect, like, if he wins something, I'm not going to be, like, surprised by it, if that makes sense. Um, I'll be surprised, but at the same time, I won't be, you know? It's a weird thing. I'm not going to be surprised because I know he can win races. So, I got Ian MX behind me, man. This guy's flying. If you guys haven't already, go sub to his YouTube channel. I don't know if he's been like grinding bikes or anything, but he has been on my ass all race long. I was bad with him for a while, and then he took my front tire out. Get shit it on, man. I don't know where you guys are at at all. You're in fourth. Jordo's in fifth. Deegan for the win, man. All right, I got well, you final are lap. getting beat by the number one uh, Deeks fan. That would be uh, Troy. Yep. But let me know who you guys got winning in the comment section below for Paula as well as the championship. I would love to hear what you guys have to say. We absolutely dominated both Levi Kitchen and Tommy V in this race. Uh, they're 30 seconds behind me, man. Deegan on top. That's all I got to say. Deegan on top. You know what I mean?